Welcome back, everyone. Back in the world of Monster Hunter. With a few new uh, bells and whistles. Uh, so last time... Oh, I have to get the right window in focus. Last time... Uh, I ended with a pretty bad run of the Mushroom Gathering quests. But... Since then, I've gathered a... I've done a whole bunch of stuff. I decided, um, I did some research and some calculations, and I realized that it would take a long, long time if I only was doing Monster Hunter on Mondays to get all the stuff I need. So I did some farming offline, and I've got enough to make all the stuff I wanted to make uh, last time. So for one thing, I ended the stream a little early, and... Uh, it turned out that I actually had enough money to make the Hunter's Greaves after I sold some Disc Stones. So even though I failed that Mushroom Quest miserably, um, I could have made the Hunter's Greaves at the end of that uh, stream. Oops. Sorry. But I've waited. I've waited until now because I want to actually make this stuff on stream. So Hunter's Greaves. Wait for it to load. Bam. Now we have... The full hunter's armor. Now we're like proper hunters. Look at this. Uh, I'm gonna have to update the uh, overlay in a minute. We've got our full defense. We don't have any skills because it's just the hunter's armor is pretty early armor, all things considered. But I got some extra money and a bunch of materials because I also want to upgrade the iron lance. Uh, so the night lance doesn't look so great. Compared with our lance, the sharpness isn't very good, although the attack is higher. But I took the time to get the materials and money to make two upgrades, I think. I think it's two, not three. We're making two more upgrades to first to the Night Lance, which it'll have to load, even though I think it's the same. Oh no, it's different. Look at this. Wow. It's a totally different model already. Um. But I should have everything I need to get the next upgrade. Oh no, what am I missing? Oh, I didn't. I need Velociprey scales, but I have them. I just have to go back and get them. <laughs> um, uh, so you'll notice I've added a little um, gamepad overlay as well. Um, I wanted to try and communicate just how janky this game is. And I couldn't find, maybe I didn't look hard enough, but I couldn't find like a good um, gamepad visualizer like the one you've got here where I've got all these buttons. I can I can show all the buttons getting pressed like while I'm playing. Uh, so I just whipped this up uh, one afternoon. I don't know how many, maybe it took like four hours, five hours to make it. And it works well enough. Um, you'll notice the, the analog sticks don't really return to center. That's just sort of... I guess that's the PS2 controller by nature. It just has a, a very wide dead zone, and I should have added that dead zone. I should have figured out what that dead zone is and added it in my software, but whatever. We can make the Night Lance Plus, which gives us our, that little sliver of green sharpness left. And... Oh no, we don't have enough. Um, I can get a little more Earth Crystal, and we can make the Night Spear, which gives us a lot of green. Look at that green sharpness. Isn't that incredible? So, I thought I had enough for that. But we need two more Earth Crystal. So, we've got enough money for it. Um, I'm going to get some good pickaxes. And I guess the first thing that I'm going to do is to get two Earth Crystal. Which um, isn't actually that bad. But then after that, I promise I'm going to go fight. Uh, we're going to go on a proper monster hunt. We're going to get our revenge on the Cephalos. I'm going to save before, uh, just in case something goes horribly wrong. And we're going to get these moving. One thing I forgot about that I did learn with the Lance is that... Um, if the Lance is at green sharpness and you do that charge move that running charge, you'll hit monsters and you'll keep hitting them and keep doing damage as long as you're in physical contact with them. Uh, but only as long as you have green sharpness. If you have anything less, you'll bounce off every hit. 
So before we go any further, I am going to upgrade. I'm going to update the stat numbers here. We should have, let's see. Should have. Here we go. A lot more attack. We're at 207 attack now. Uh, 21 defense. Um, our elemental resistances are not great, but luckily we aren't fighting anything that does element damage just yet. All right, that's fire, water, zero thunder res, and minus 10 dragon. Uh, then our weapon is the night lance, I think. Is that right? And we don't have green pants. We've got hunter... Reeves, the hunter's graves. Uh, anyway, I think that's right. Nightlands plus hunter's graves. Yep, we're all set and ready to do another boring quest. Um, I think so. This will depend on the quest we have available. I want to do this liver of legend. This is the Cephalos quest that defeated me a few weeks ago, actually. Um. We can do the wyvern. Oh, you know what? Maybe we should do the wyvern eggs. Because that'll be exciting. It is in the forest, so it shouldn't be too bad. Okay. We have a lot of quests to choose from. I do want to get the earth crystal before I fight another monster, so... Uh, let's see. Let's get two of these. And we're going to go to the forest. Or, the jungle. Assuming we have it. Do we have the mushroom? Yes. Okay, so the mushroom quests are good for gathering... Um, just gathering materials from whatever area you're going to. Uh, I really optimized the forest mushroom quest because that was something I realized. Um, after doing my calculations, the two-star Select Seven Mushrooms quest is actually a better money proposition than this three-star ten mushroom quest. And that's because the extra... If you collect ten mushrooms in the seven quest, the extra three mushrooms give you, uh, like, an extra 180 zenny. Um, and that alone is uh, brings your total up to 380. Or, sorry, brings your total up to 360 if you include the quest reward. And the quest reward for this one, where you get 10 mushrooms, is only 300. Uh, so you already get 80 more zenny from the seven mushroom quest, and you don't risk failing like I did if you uh, only get nine mushrooms. There are also many, many more gathering points in the forest for those mushrooms. Oh, I forgot to eat my rations. I'm already messing up a little bit. But I've been eager to get back into this, into the thick of it. Uh, as I have decided to farm off stream, because otherwise I'll be I'll still be playing this game next year at the rate I'm going. Uh, but I'm not going to do any new quests off stream. Um, it's all going to be farming, which um, I don't really have any qualms about streaming farming. It's kind of boring, so it's fair to put on a stream, and then, you know, you cut it out of the highlights video so that anybody who just wants to watch the highlights later can skip it. But I'm not a full-time streamer. I'm not streaming every night. So if I were to only play this game on Mondays and Thursdays, it would take forever to get all this stuff. Plus, all that time in between means that I'm going to get rusty. And that'll make it take even longer. So, on the off days, I'm still doing some gathering. So already we're in good shape. We've got seven mushrooms. Um, if I had Felvine or something to trade with the Veggie Elder, I could get four. But there are three gathering points here that the Moss Swine will point us to. Oh, I passed it because I forgot it's here. And we can probably get two mushrooms here, maybe three if we're lucky. And then we can go gather from the, the mining spot. Oh, perfect. Okay, so we've got the main quest out of the way. 
we just have to get around the Melanxes here. Uh, who, that little that little move when it looks like they're just kind of hopping forward on all fours is actually considered an attack. And if they hit you with that, then they will steal an item. So you have to be really careful around them. And all the foliage just makes it even harder to see where they are. Um, I actually like that, that design, that um, the foliage in the level disguises where the Melanxes are and makes them more dangerous. Um, Alright, so I didn't bring any hot chocolate to stave off the cold of these caves. Um, so I'm probably going to jog instead of sprint everywhere. And I have to remember where the gathering points are. Oh, there's one. Uh, these Vespoids will also swarm you really easily, I learned. And they can kill you on their own. Whereas in uh, more recent Monster Hunter games, Vespoids are still dangerous, but they're more like... Um, they'll, like, stab you because you weren't paying attention and are on really low health. So you might, like, watch highlight... If you watch highlights videos of Monster Hunter games like I occasionally do, you'll see a lot of, like, just barely avoiding dying to the monster only to get killed by a Vespoid that you didn't see coming. Okay. I mean, those those Vespoids already took, like, a quarter of my health, almost a third. And this is with um, the full armor set, which... Granted, is pretty low armor. Oh, that's right, I'm pressing the wrong button. Um, uh, I did want to demonstrate... Oh, there's the Earth Crystal. Um, now that I've got this um, gamepad display, you can see how um, this game is a little janky. So if I let go of the analog stick and I'm mashing the square button, it doesn't actually do anything until I stop moving. But if I keep holding the analog stick and then press the square button, it interrupts the running. I don't know why it's like that, but it'll really trip you up if you haven't played this game before. You might think that you can, you know, well... Uh, we'll just have to wait this one out, I guess. The best way to armor does protect against paralysis. Incidentally, but also like if I'm trying to use any item Like you see I'm mashing the button there and it didn't do anything, but if I hold the analog and I mash the uh, Then it'll go. I don't even have to mash it. I can just click it and it'll go in um, Okay, I'm gonna gather from this little fungus cluster Because there are dragon berries here dragon seeds I should say which sell for a good amount, although you can only carry two. It's enough that it's worth picking them up. Point is, um, I was trying to say that when you're running around, um, especially if you're used to later Monster Hunter games, using an item will interrupt almost any animation that you're in, uh, even if you're in the transition from one running speed to a different one, or if you're slowing from a run to a, s a standing stop. But in this game, um, I guess the blending animations can't be interrupted. It's a very technical thing, but basically um, it affects everything you do. So like if I want to attack, I can be running and if I let go of the analog stick, mash, mash, mash with the uh, right analog, and it takes forever to do anything. But if I hold the analog stick and I keep it held and then press an attack, then I'll actually attack. So, you can see how um, there's a learning curve in dealing with the bad controls, because that's bad. The game should not handle like that, and later, later versions of the game do not behave like that. Now let's see if we have our... We have one Earth Crystal, and there's one other place in this area that we can get. Oh, thank you. That uh, Velocity gave me a ledge boost. Just totally skipped. Talking about skipping animations. Just totally skipped the ledge climbing animation for me. And I'm, I'm... I am convinced that there is no bone gathering point in this whole area. 
even though it looks like there should be. Because it looks the same as the monster den in the forest, but there's no... I've tried, and there's no place to gather anything here. Um, let's see. So let's get the pickaxe. They haven't broken yet, which is why, which is, well, now they have. I only got a disc stone, so I gotta keep going. The worst thing is if the best points hit you seconds before you actually get the item that you were picking, because it still, it still risks breaking the pickaxe, but you don't even get the item. Now... The nice thing is there are enough of them that they will hit each other, as you can see. And in the future, this will be a good place to farm Vespoid parts if I want to get the Vespoid armor, which I might want to do eventually. Um, okay, there's nothing else there. We move on. There's one more gathering point here. I don't think we got any more. We still only have one Earth Crystal. But I'm pretty sure that this whole region has a higher chance of dropping Earth Crystals from these Gathering Points compared with the forest. Plus, there's one more Gathering Point than the forest has. Come on, now. I'm trying to kind of kite them away from the Gathering Points so that they won't hit me right away. Boy, and my stamina limit is going down fast. Okay, that's our last pickaxe. Alright. So, a little more gathering is required. But it's not too bad. We got one Earth Crystal. I hope this stream is okay, because on my... On my laptop, it's frozen. But my laptop isn't very good. It's a shame, because uh, I paid a lot for it. Oh, well. Uh, so that's what I wanted to... Those are some of the main points I wanted to talk about, I guess. There we go. We got all of them. Uh, I also learned... Uh, I wanted to have some fun during the uh, this moment when the quest is over, but you have to wait to go home. And I learned just about when in the music is right before you lose control of the character. And I'm going to charge. There. I was a little early. But you can charge while the uh, little end screen is going. And even though you normally can't control anything when that overlay comes up, when the quest completed text first appears, you can actually steer the lance charge for some reason. So you saw there, I was actually steering it during that moment when you aren't supposed to have any control. I don't know what's going on there, but uh, I think it just speaks to this game probably being a little rushed on release. And this is also a time when you can't patch a game after it's come out. You just have to accept it as it is. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, also, you can sell items from the box, which I wasn't doing before, and it was wasting a lot of time. But each of these dragon seeds sells for 70, 78 zenny, which at this point is pretty good money. Um, we got 10 disc stones. Wow, that's a lot. They sell for only a little less than the dragon seeds. And look at that, 680. That pays for like... That's like on, over twice the reward from that quest we just did. Um, I'm still one Earth Crystal short, so I'm going to take an investment in two more Iron Picks, and I'm going to go to the forest this time, because the forest has been much kinder. Oh, no, no, I'm not going to get five right now. I'll just get two. The forest has been much kinder when it comes to gathering. You don't get pestered by enemies as much, and I can show off some of the routing some of the routing I've done for this area, even though I'm not speedrunning this game. I've just naturally routed a really quick way to get uh, the most out of your mushroom picking quest. Um, I think I spent about five hours farming, 
since last stream, since last Monday, I should say. Um, and I thought I had enough Earth Crystal, but I apparently do not. So we're just getting one last one that we need, and we'll be set. Um, and I know Earth Crystal does spawn here, but you can't get it. Um, it's just not as likely, I guess. Um, I also learned a little more about the Veggie Elder. He, um, he'll trade you for insect husks, but it, it seems like he only takes three, and then he'll yell at you if you try to talk to him anymore. He'll call you a lazy, like, freeloader if you try to trade him any more insect husks. Like, don't you want these? Like, I've got ten. Anyway. Uh, one of my one of my uh, things is that I'm taking like this is calculated damage that I'm taking from the bullfangos to gather some mushrooms because this is a good mushroom gathering spot and sometimes you can get a bunch here um, and in between getting charged by the bullfangos you have enough time to pick up at least one mushroom per charge so four is pretty good um, I'm just gonna go on before I lose too much health and go to the next area. This bullfango might... No, I was hoping the bullfango might hit me and cancel the animation to climb me up faster. Like that, uh, Velocipray did on the other, on the other area. Um, so I'm gonna get Felvine first. This plant seems to give Felvine all the time. Because the Veggie Elder will trade you for Felvine, I think, until you run out. Whereas, he'll stop after three insect husks. But, I'm not sure what the rule is, but in this mission he gives you the quest item, which is the special mushroom. One for each felvine. Um, I would assume that if there is no quest item, he'll just give you something uh, of a similar rarity from a pool of possible items. But, how many, how many did we get? Yeah, he likes Felvine, so he'll, he'll favor that first. How many did we get? Okay, we got four total. I gave him one already, so we have three left. We're going to see if he takes all four. I'm pretty sure he will. Um, and that'll bring us to eight special mushrooms, which is enough to complete the quest plus a little extra money. Uh, and then once we have... Hopefully we get Earth Crystal on this quest. Yeah. So now he's angry at me. Can't you see I'm busy? But he took a lot of our Felvine, so that's good. I also realized during my farming that there's a honey gathering point here. Sometimes it'll give you insect tusks, but usually it'll give you honey, and honey is super valuable. Oh, it only gave me one. Bad luck. But yeah, once the Earth Crystal, once we have that Earth Crystal, we can make the last upgrade that I wanted to make and get revenge on the Sand Wyverns, Cephalos. Oh, surprise, surprise. I forgot there's a Bullfango over there. Well. Um... Yeah, I promise this is going to be... Uh, we're going to see some action after this gathering quest. Um, one thing I learned on the, on the farming quests is that um, if a moss swine gets attacked by anything, it'll get angry at you and attack start attacking you. Uh, which is a real shame, because on the other mushroom quest in the jungle. Um, a Vespoit just accidentally hit a moss swine, and it started, and it got angry at me. And I was like, oh, come on, dude. What gives? Yeah. Just gathering some herbs. I gathered a lot of regular herbs and antidote herbs and stuff. Um, I made some good items that we're going to use on the next quest. 
going to really rough up those cephalos. Okay. So, here we go. Here we see if there's any earth crystal at the first mining point. And that's why we brought iron pickaxes. Wow, really? Broke already. Well, there's still points, so... Come on, Earth Crystal. I'm waiting for the uh, audio cue. There it is. I'm gonna keep gathering, even though we cut the Earth Crystal, because this stuff is still useful. Um, stone has its uses. Oh, that's right. You can leap off of that high... Oh, I'll, I'll show this off, because it's just kind of fun. You can leap off of that highest point, but if you wait and leap here, you'll land on this tree. On this tree root. There's nothing up here. But you can land on it. It's just weird geometry that... Uh, is there... I don't know. It seems like the kind of thing that wouldn't be a walkable surface, but it is. You're just getting taste of what my five hours of farming looked like. It was basically just this quest over and over again, which is why I want to keep it off stream. Um, oh, all we got is a cricket. Crickets are only good for fishing, and fishing is mostly only good for money. If I were a gunner, fish would be really useful, because you use fish to make different ammo. But, uh, I don't need any fish for this run. Um, except the knife mackerel and the sushi, sushi fish. They're kind of useful. The trouble is that they take up inventory space that could be used by other healing items, so I'm probably... Uh, the sushi fish heals a little bit. I don't know how much. But, like, I could be just... I could just save space and just use herbs or something. Aw, oh, dang it. Sometimes the fish bite on the first bite. Oh. Sometimes it's the third bite. And what's difficult about this fishing game is that you have to... You have a small window, and you have to watch for the bobber going jump. Uh, the bobber, the buoy, whatever it's called. You have to watch for it going down like a little bit more on a stronger bite. Um, in later games like Monster Hunter 3, the bobber goes all the way beneath the surface. It's a very, it's a much stronger visual indicator, and it's got a more generous window press the button and actually reel in the fish. Um, that's something else I want to talk about. Since we're on a gathering quest and I'm not being assailed by enemy monsters, uh, I played some Monster Hunter 3 in between this and last Monday's stream, and it was an incredible eye-opener because this... The difference between those two games is night and day. This, I was starting to think that I just was, I was just, you know, losing my touch playing this game. I was just not used to the lance or something. But no, I can blame the game actually because this game is very unresponsive. Like I was showing before, where um, certain animations prevent you from doing specific actions. So, like, I can let go and, and mash the button at this gathering point. But it won't actually register until I'm done moving. Whereas, if the animation, the running animation is still going, I can immediately do it. I don't know if that comes across, even with the gamepad display, but it basically doesn't feel good. And you'll constantly make that mistake. Excuse me, I have to not... You'll constantly make the mistake of um, letting go of the direction button or the sprint button. And then having to wait before you can actually gather or start an attack or use an item. But in Monster Hunter 3, no such problems. Also, this game is incredibly slow. 
even by Monster Hunter standards. Like this gathering animation takes about five seconds. And that may not sound like a lot, but watch this. This is gathering for one item. And there could be as many as six or even seven items in this gathering point. And that takes a long time. Five seconds doesn't sound like a lot until you have to watch your player character crouch down and gather for five seconds six times in a row. In Monster Hunter 3, the same gathering animation for the same type of gathering point is more like three seconds, which is which still feels a little long, but it is such an improvement. You know what, I'm not going to risk getting killed by the loss of prey when I've already completed the quest and gathered the item that I want, so I'm going to get out of here. And I'm going to just... I'm just going to mine the point that's here in Area 6. Um, I hope I didn't jump too far. Nope. We're good. Knees of Adamantine. Uh, thinking of speedruns, um, I did look up to see if there are speedruns of this game, and there are two recorded speedruns on speedrun.com. One of them is about just about five hours, just a little over five, and the other one is... I'm going to actually take a little safety first aid, man. I think the second place speedrun is like five and a half hours. Which boggles my mind. Honestly. Um, at this point, I think this save file has about 15 hours. That's including all the farming that I've done. And I'm not even out of rank 3 yet. But speedrunners, I don't know. I don't know how, how they do it. I watched some of the video... And the guy was talking about, um, I guess the speedrun is done with the sword and shield, because you start with one, so you don't have to make a fresh one. That probably saves a lot of time. Also, I bet the sword and shield is just faster than using a lance. I don't bet, I know. The sword and shield is a faster weapon than the lance in general. So, I don't know how they manage it. But there is like a build. Oh wait, I did it too fast soon. There. Right before the quest complete. And we can still control the lance. Isn't that wild? But I was curious to see about speedruns, because um, I thought they would be much longer, but... Nope, some guy in Germany beat this game in five hours. Um, presumably that difference between the first and second place speedruns mostly will come down to RNG. Whether you get the items you need for crafting. But I don't know. I don't actually know what the percentage rates are for this. For those drops. Um, but now we're finally going to get what I wanted. We need iron and earth crystal. Okay. I have just enough Earth Crystal. And a lot of iron, but these games take a lot of iron. Uh, they take a lot of all materials that you gather. Okay, so let's get iron ore. Oh. Luckily, um, I guess there, no, there are some, I don't know what the item carry limit is for for this game, presumably stuff like iron ore, they have to allow you to carry more because you just need so much to make upgrades and other stuff. But here we go, we got the Knight's Spear. Um, it doesn't look any different, but that's probably because it counts towards um, it counts towards like the current item that we did. Or it's like part of the I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's part of the thing. What is this thing called? Actually, didn't. I didn't go to the right screen. Oh, Knight's Spear, that's it. 
So we're gonna type that in. Spear. Done. Um, the one weird problem with this gamepad overlay that I made is that it has to be in focus. Like, I have to make the gamepad window my active one for some reason. Don't know why. Um, so, I'm lucky that for whatever reason, um, this game, uh, this emulator runs even if it's not in focus, even if it's um, not the active window. Uh, although the performance may be weird sometimes. Okay, I've sold everything I don't need. So I'm actually collecting husk berries now because um, you can make poison ammo. And one of my plans is to eventually make um, a light bow gun so that we can play the Vespoids without destroying them and collect their materials and make Vespoid armor. As um, melee weapons will generally break the Vespoid into a million pieces and you can't carve it. But poison damage will not. Uh, yeah, and the Vespoid armor is nice because it negates paralysis. So, what quest do we have? Okay, we've got Liver of Legend. I think this is the one we have to do. Um, the thing about this quest... It says Water Wyvern and Sand Wyvern Livers. I, don't, I, I think you have to slay the Cephalos. I don't think there's another option in that quest. So, it's going to be a little miserable, but I'm going to make it work because I'm going to bring and excess of items. I've made everything I need. Like potions, I'm going to bring mega potions. Um, I made power juice, which uh, was later renamed to dash juice. I'm going to bring well done steak. Uh, what else? Uh, I should bring more bomb casings. So yeah, we're going to make some bomb uh, materials. Uh, we need stone. And I have some... There we are, Screamers. Oh, oops. So I also got the Book of Combos 1 and 2. Which, they're a little odd. They, um... I don't know that they actually tell you about combos that you haven't done yet. But they improve your success rate. Uh, I'm gonna make a total of 7. They improve your success rate. So normally... Wait. I don't use the Screamer with the bomb material? Uh... Hang on. I'm just gonna look up... the combo list. Uh... Because I thought... I thought that Screamers are used to make Sonic Bombs. Which we would use to deal with the Cephalos a little easier. But apparently not. Uh... So we've got Smoke Bomb, Flash Bomb... Wait, can we not make... Oh, Sonic Bomb. Oh, it's Gunpowder. Oh, and I can't make Gunpowder. Dang it. Uh, I don't have the material for gunpowder. You need, um, fire herbs. Uh, well... We only get the, uh... We're only gonna get the... Gunpowder. We're only gonna get the sonic bombs that the quest gives us. Luckily, they give us two. So, I'm just gonna save them, and if we're really struggling, I'll make some sonic bombs. Okay. I thought I heard something weird, it's just... I got my AC running and it's making some odd noises. Uh, but it's a hot day, so I need to have it on. Um, you know what, for safety I'll get some herbs. Because they... heal up a little bit of health on their own. Um, okay, this, this should be good, so let's... Uh, we gotta get the traveling merchant. 
because he sells hot chocolate. No, he sells uh, lemonade, which we need to stay cool in the hot, hot desert. Any day now. I can hear him. Oh, there you are. He's actually beyond the border. Right now he's beyond the border of the village, so I can't really reach him. I think the quest gives us... The quest gives us two cool drinks, so I'm just going to buy one. Because the sadistic development team at Capcom who made this game only lets you carry up to three uh, cool or hot, uh, cool and hot drinks at once. I don't know. I like to think of them as hot chocolate and lemonade. Personally. But we got lemonade to go to the desert. I'm just going to save in case something goes wrong, which it may it meet. It may, might, might, may, may, might go wrong. Uh, later games let you hold up to five, which I think is much more reasonable. Okay. Especially since you can't craft your own lemonade or hot chocolate in this game. I don't know why you can't. That uh, Crafting is such a big thing, and Environmental damage is a real danger. So I don't know why they don't do that. But we're technically going on a hunt. So the game can live up to its name. There are the two cold drinks waiting for me to pick them up. I'm going to take everything in the box because... Um, husk berries are going to be useful to me eventually. Oh, oops, let's not do that. Um, so some of my research that I want to talk about is to do with the development of this game. I didn't find out a lot, really. But I did learn that Capcom had two development teams around the time this game came out. One of them worked on uh, games like Devil May Cry and some other stuff. The other one... Oh, actually, I'll talk about it later. Because right now... I need to drink up. And we're going to go nuts. We're going to go nuts on these cephalos that have caused us so much grief. And they don't stop running. Dang it. There's no way to easily target them. And they just go so fast. But. Let's see. Maybe we can draw one of their attention. The trouble is that I only have two Sonic Bonds, and I don't want to use them up just yet. Okay, did I get your attention? No, it just ran away. That one got- I got that one's attention, I guess. Where'd you go? So, the neat thing about having green sharpness is that you can keep running through the monster. You don't get bounced back, and you can do a lot of damage. Uh, it also lets you move really fast, but it does eat up a lot of stamina, so you have to be careful. Now, where the heck did this, did this guy go? I think it went back into its patrolling of the area, like it started to run away. This is what makes this quest really annoying. Because you can't really get at these cephalos. Uh, and they'll trip you up. Like, oh, and we'll do that. Yeah, even with my new armor, they're doing a lot of damage. So I think I've got to be a little smarter. And if I'm going to stand in their path, I've got to be ready to, to charge them. Uh, maybe if two of them come along, I'll hit him with the Sonic Bomb. No, they're, like, separate again. Okay. Okay, that one came up on land for a second. So maybe I can get it. 
Oh man, I'm so far. You went in the rock. How'd you do that? Boy, these uh, these uh, these monsters are really terrible. Come on. I need to chase after one. Oh, they're they're faster than I am. Even with the power juice, I'm still struggling. Oh, and I've run out. Wow, that uh, that power juice didn't last very long. Also, they have very resilient uh, hides, these cephalos. If you don't hit them in the head, you um, need a much sharper, you need that green sharpness to get them. Uh, okay. Wait, I, I only need to kill three. And yet, I'm going to have to rely on... Ah, uh, dang. I'm gonna have to rely on the sonic bombs if I want to get him out of the sand to hit him. This seems like a turning point where they might actually stop. I'm trying to figure that out. I can probably just wait for one to come by and poke it. We'll see. I think they come to this spot every time. I just have to be a little uh, clever about how I do it. Okay. Oh, crap. He tried to jump at me, but he jumped too far. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Dang it. One got me from where I couldn't see it. This is going just as badly as before, isn't it? I'm also using potions instead of the free first aid meds that I should be using. Um, if I could get them all with a Sonic Bomb, that would be perfect. Or just two of them. Dang. Oh, it's going back in the stand already. I was gonna say water. These, these monsters are impossible. You can see why I'm eager to get to... to get this playthrough done with. And over to another game. Yeah. Dang. Um, there are small monsters kind yeah. of like this in Monster Hunter 3, but they're not as bad. Um... Okay, they like to stop around here. So let's see if I can wait for one to turn up. Oh, I missed it. Ah, dang it, you clipped me. I don't know how the how you're meant to do this quest, because they just like leap and hop all over the place. Without without a better camera, you can't even see what you're doing. You can't see where they're coming from. Oh, there's wait, that one's hanging out out of the sand. Okay. Is this gonna work? Can we can we fight you over here? No, we ran back onto the sand again. Dang. I don't know how to fight these, because the uh, Sonic Bomb didn't help much. Even with his upgraded Lance, I haven't killed a single one yet. Okay, this... So, what I did learn, though, is that this is like a stopping point. 
so I can potentially hit them. Dang it. Not like that. Um. Okay. I just gotta wait for them to come around and then poke them. Come on. Oh, did I kill it? Oh, thank goodness. That one's probably going to jump at me, though. Okay, let's try and gather before this thing vanishes. Okay. How can we get you? That's the question. Apparently not. Oh, wait, can I gather again? Let me gather a second time. No, I guess not. I guess you only get one. Uh, okay, so... We're doing better than last time. Even though my character's buckled over in exhaustion, the heat, the uh, lemonade hasn't uh, worn off yet. Uh oh Where'd you go? I heard you over there. Okay. Jeez, I swear. These controls are awful. Hmm. That's bad. Now I've got Epilos coming from two directions at once. It's gonna be hard to catch him. Okay. Dang it. They jump so far away, too, that, like, I'm never going to catch it before it goes back in the sand. Well, I've got Sonic Bombs, so... No, I want to save it. I want to save the Sonic Bomb for the last one. Yeah. Oh, now the cool drink. Well, one Thepalos for one cool drink is a good trade-off so far. Boy, it's almost been an hour, and I have gotten, like, one Piscean liver in this stream. One quest objective. Oh my god. Okay. Gather, 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 quick. Okay. Once the text comes up saying that what item you got, you're all set. So now if I can get one of these that blows with a sonic bomb, that will give me the opportunity I need to slay it. Oh, it's dead. Gosh, got it. I just have to not get hit by that one. I think I did it. I d oh god, I didn't do it. That's not the material I need. Oh no. Oh, uh, I used up my sonic bomb. Okay. There's one left in this area, and there's another area where the Cephalos spawns, so it's okay. Only having to worry about one Cephalos is actually really good. Assuming more don't spawn. Because there were only three at first, and at least one appeared. Oh yeah, there's another one. Well, I can worry about this one, because this one was here before. I might have heard it already. So, let's wait for it to come around the bend again. I feel like I can hear monsters over that over that way behind me, but it can't be right because there aren't any monsters over there. Okay, Cephalos, you big dumb you big dumb brute. Go, 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 go. Dang it. I uh I hit the wrong move. Have I got your attention? No. Apparently not. Monster Hunter, everybody. Maybe there's some trick 
I bet if I put down like a raw meat or something, it would actually attract the cephalos out of the ground. I don't know what they eat though. They might not be meat eaters. Oh boy. I'm gonna have to eat a well done steak at some point. I'm not, I'm not feeling good about wasting that uh, power drink either. It really didn't prove to be all that useful. I thought that maybe my lance charging speed would be enough to catch up with these guys, but it was not. Come on, press the button. Okay, maybe I can get it. Dang it. Look at how slow that- look at how slow the response time is to all of that. You can see it now because I've got my gamepad visible. I've got like my little gamepad overlay. Come on, press the button. Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh, it's outrunning me even now. Ah, and it got me with its tail, and then it's gonna run away, isn't it? Block. Okay. That ate up a lot of stamina. Go, go. Nope, I should've, yeah, I should've back hopped. Oh, it, wow, it went behind me? Okay. I need to get some distance so that I can eat. And then I'll get hit. Oh no, I won't. The slope saved me. Okay, come on. Uh, come on. Oops. Oh yeah, I realized I could use the hop to hop in like any direction I want. Like that. But I keep forgetting to do that. Dang. Okay. Time to run. Okay. This is like a large monster hunt. Okay. Oh my gosh. Give me a liver. Thank you. Wow. Um, okay. It got a little hairy there for a minute. <laughs> okay. I'm not out of the woods yet. Clearly. Um, but while we're here, I've got the quest items. Let me just check. I want Piscean livers, and I got three, right? Yeah, I got three. While we're here, we may as well explore the rest of this area. Because I didn't really explore this region that much. Um, and I didn't farm here because this quest sucks and I don't want to... I don't want to have to do, you know, that 15 minutes of flip-flopping around just to get whatever materials are here in the desert. But while we're here, it's good to get whatever materials are unique to this area or whatever are in greater abundance. Um, it is annoying to have to deal with the melanxes, but... Uh, I should have brought my pickaxe, shouldn't I? Because it seems like these little caves are just... Um, mining areas infested with melanxes. And there's probably some good materials to get from there, but I don't have the tool. So, um, there is some kind of herb here. It's possible, though unlikely, that the desert has fire herbs. I think fire herbs are located in a later area, but I am going to check around here. Those pink berries are good. Um, use them to make the pink balls that are very useful for hunting most monsters. Alright. And I don't have a lot of paintballs. 
Because I think the few I've gotten are pretty uncommon. Oh, that's neat. It looks like sort of a sandstorm, like a fog kicks up to tell you that you're at the edge of the area. You can't go any farther. I hope there's no consequence for trying to go farther. But clearly I'm much more at ease now that the icing levers are got. Come on, I can gather this, can't I? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I wanted to say that I played Monster Hunter 3 in between this and last Monday's stream. And it might have been a bad idea because it made me realize just how bad this game is in comparison. Like, the controls are just awful. Like, it really... I'm really yearning to go back to that game once this one is done. But at the same time, I do want to see how this pans out. I want to see all the strange new monsters that you encounter. Oops. Uh, I think some of the monsters in this game only appear in a few other games, and not ones that I've played. So one of the reasons that I want to play this is that I haven't fought those other monsters. It's possible they've turned up in Monster Hunter's Generation or something, but I haven't played that enough to see any. Um, we'll see them as we come across them. Plus, I, I love the idea of fighting monsters that I have fought before in other games, but this is their first version. You know, seeing what moves uh, they still had way back in the day and what ones they got later. Because uh, there are two monsters I'm looking forward to fighting that I might regret looking forward to later. Because I'm sure they're going to prove to be really difficult with this game's engine. But, you know, one of them is like the flagship monster for this entire game series. And the other is one of my favorite monsters that has stuck around for a long time. You get the little, uh, sort of medical, Metal Gear Solid style, um, alert exclamation mark over the monster's heads. It's a cute detail. I think they have that. I think they still do that. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they don't do that in World. Um, oh yeah, I don't know why I went this way. Well, I'm gonna go to Area 10, I guess. I should have gone back to the camp so that I wouldn't have to go through another hot area. Full of cephalos. I don't... There might be some good gathering points here. Maybe I should have looked. But I'm pretty sure the areas 8 and 9, which are the only ones that branch off of there and nowhere else, are not really worth visiting. I I also forgot about the felines. I should have brought some felvine. Okay, huskberry. Not really used to it. Not really eager to get more huskberries, because the mission... It seems like every quest, almost every quest, gives you a bunch of huskberries, so... I'm not eager to seek them out. Uh, oh, good. You can get felvine here. Uh, so if I had a pick, if I had an iron pickaxe, or even an old pickaxe, I could take it to the caves now that I've got some felvine and I wouldn't have to worry about the Mollinxes as much. Alright. Um, that is all. There, there are two things that the felvine is useful for. One is that you can trade it to the Veggie Elder for good stuff. And the other is that the Mellinxes will take any felvine you have before items. Before any other items, I should say. Oh, there's a bug camp pitching point. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here. Um, in the forest, the feline camp has um, a bug catching point and spider webs, but I guess here it just has bugs. Um, is 
this a gathering? Oh, there is there is a point here. I thought I looked, but there's nothing. Actually, you know what? I should check again. All right. All right, all right, all right. Might be more stuff here, actually. Um, is it just husk berries from this? Or did it give me something else? Uh, I'm sick of this quest. Uh, I'm just gonna gather only what I think I need. Oh, now this is interesting. Can I go up here? Oh, maybe that's what Area 9 is for. Okay, let's do a little exploring. Um, a guy in town talks about how cactus flowers are valuable. And up on that cliff there, I think, is a cactus flower gathering point. But I can't just get to it from the ground, so maybe this area lets you get up there somehow? No. Weird. Um, I don't know how you get up there then. Uh, yeah, without any lemonade left. Maybe that's just scenery. I don't see any obvious way to get up there because I can't climb. I tried climbing. Uh, but without lemonade, if you're in a hot area, you just take damage over time. Um, but luckily, it's only red damage. One of the interesting things about Monster Hunter is it actually has a mechanic that's similar to Bloodborne when it comes to damage. Uh-oh. I should have taken the Gendrum a little more seriously, honestly. That's my fault. Because they might paralyze Stunlock me if I'm not careful. Uh, and this is a cold area, which will reduce my stamina faster, but I'm going to explore it this time. Because there might be some good stuff in here. Even with the Gendrome around. Uh, oh, that look, is that a fishing... There might be a fishing point in here, I don't know. Uh, oh, that's right. Whenever you take damage, um, your health will be reduced, but some of the damage you took will remain as red as like red health like recovery health so that rather than just taking the damage all the way as long as your health doesn't go all the way to zero your red health will slowly recover over time it's a neat little mechanic because stuff like hot areas will deal red damage over time and eventually, if you leave the hot area, oh, that just serves. If you leave the hot area, you'll get that red health will naturally recover. The heat damage, the area heat damage won't actually damage. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. The heat damage won't actually reduce your green health all the way, it'll only do red health damage that you can recover. Um, oh, you know what? I bet this area is where you first encounter certain monsters. Uh oh. Okay, For a second, the uh, controls stopped responding. It might be my emulator, or it might be my cheapo um, my cheapo adapter. Okay, there we go. That's weird. I don't know what's going on there. My guess is that it's the emulator, because that happened after I transitioned to a new area. Um, Absaros don't like you. And they will attack. Okay, what's going on? Alright. Alright. I think we have to give up on the gamepad overlay for now. Because it is not working. To... Well, the gamepad display is working. 
but the game does not want to play with me um, in another window. All right. So I'm going to have a little fun like I've been having with this plant's charge and wait until just the right time in the music to kick it off. This is so triumphant. Yes. We killed the Cephalos. I've redeemed myself. And I got the Piscine livers. I never have to do this quest again. I hope. And I got a bunch of materials that I don't know what they're used for. Uh, and that's, I think that's the highest reward that I've earned in a quest so far. That's pretty good. I'll save. So. Uh. Oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to check what quests I have first. Uh, what options do we have next? So, we can hunt the Yonkuku. We have to slay it. Uh, oh, that's the only quest. Alright. Um, I think I explained in a previous section. The only... You can only... Uh, you only have access to five quests at a time per star rank, but in three star and up, there are a greater than five quests total per rank, and so the chief will just give you a random collection of the, whatever quests are available at that rank. Oh, well, that's interesting. Akito. Uh... But I'm not running Greatsword. I think Agito is actually a longsword-shaped Greatsword. From the name, it sounds like it might be. That could just be wrong, though. Um, I do want to make this Bone Lance at some point, but I think I'm going to wait until it seems useful. I forget. I want to say the damage is higher than the end of this current Lance's tree, but that... Oh, I wanted to check armor. Crap. I want to say the Bone Lance ends up with a higher damage lance that has worse sharpness than the end of the tree for the lance that I'm carrying now. Uh, I'm going to get Torso because it's easier to separate Blade Master from Gunner. Um, when does the Cuckoo Mail take? I can't make it. Sometimes you can make some stuff. Uh, without playing a monster. Like, so this battle mail, it takes cuckoo scales, which I've been finding just randomly. Um, five pieces means I need 15 for the full set. Uh, and it doesn't have fire res. I'm looking for um, Blade Master armor that has fire res on it. Uh, because that would be cool. Oh, the steel mail. What does that take? Macolite. Macolite's pretty rare. And just one piece of the steel mail costs a lot of money. Um, that would be 25000 It would be over 25000 just to make the set. And that would be 50 iron ore and then 60 Macolite, which I found very little. So, I'm going to wait. The Steel Mail would be a good idea for fighting the Ankutku because it does have some fire attacks, but I think for now I'm just going to have to avoid any fire damage that it may deal. Uh, so let's see. Maybe we can build towards a better... I'm just taking a look at my options. I think I'm going to fight the Ankutku with whatever I have, but I do want to see if I have the ability to make better armor. Okay. Yeah, I was talking about the bone, the um, battle mail. Bone mail. Uh, it's not much better, but it does have. It doesn't give me weakness to fire. Um, I don't know what the bone mail. Some of these armor sets have um, skill bonuses, but I don't know which ones. So. 
I think we have to face the Yonkuku with the armor we have. Uh, let's see. I'm putting away all the wrong stuff. I want to put away these. I really filled up my inventory, huh? So, we want regular potions to fill up what I use. Um, I think I do want power juice. Uh, and I want well done steaks. I only have one, that's good. Uh, on, cool, cool. I'll take flash bombs. I wonder if I can make any more. I have flash bugs. I'm gonna take three flash bombs. Um, I don't know how effective they are. I've got the maximum herbs. What else? I might have put away whetstones by accident. No, I didn't. What we got? We got potion, potion, herb, power juice for unlimited running, flash bomb, whetstone. What else can we use? There isn't really any way to heal from getting caught on fire. One of the dangers of fire damage of any kind is that you catch on fire, but assuming this plays like the later games, all you have to do is roll a few times and you'll put yourself out. Stop, drop, and roll rules. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? I don't know. What is this? The sand wire fin. It doesn't tell me if it's something useful that I should keep or if I should sell it. So I'm not going to sell it. Uh, let's sort. No, it didn't change the order at all. That's weird. I'm going to save again. Um, it's been over an hour, so I'm going to take a short break, probably get a drink of water, and uh, I'll stretch and then I'll come right back. Honest. Yeah, I don't know. I could have taken a longer break, but I did everything I wanted to. Uh, and I don't want to put off fighting the Onkutku because it's just going to be a disaster, I'm sure. And if I wait too long, my reflexes will be bad. Oh, that's right. Um, but I can't make sonic bombs. Presumably that's what this... Uh, excuse me. Presumably this quest text is supposed to hint that the Yonkuku should be fought with sonic bombs in your equipment, but I can't make sonic bombs, so I just have to deal with it. I don't know what streamers are used for, but I thought that, um... 
Well, I thought that I could make it, but I don't have the materials and I cannot get them at the current point in time. All right, Jungle Menace. The tricky thing about this quest list is that I probably have to, um, I probably have to just do a quest that I've already done to shuffle up the order and get a quest that I haven't done yet. So, we'll see. Smoke bombs are interesting. I don't need those other things. Um, and I've been skipping the Wisdom of the Chief, but I'm gonna see... I'm gonna see what he says. Hunters measure themselves by the number of battles they've survived, but the Yonkutku may be relatively weak for a wyvern, but don't let your guard down. If you successfully complete this quest, you'll learn the title Hunter. You'll find some sport items in the supply box. Use them together with the skills you've learned to succeed in this, your first true... Did the Velocidrome not count toward my Hunter stand? I guess not. You'll be in a totally new region of visible. well. This is ability to only four overcome the obstacles. It's not a totally new region. I've, I've uh, been here before. Oh, this is interesting. A blue mark indicates normal status. Red means that they're in attack mode. Yellow portions on the map indicate the area where the wyverns are active. So I think the paintball works a little differently in this game than later. Oh, that's interesting. If the wyvern's already in attack mode, the smoke bomb won't work, but I can do that. Uh... Okay, I don't think I'm going to use... Oh, I see. They want you to, like, use the smoke bomb... Oh, there's nothing in there. I think uh, he's trying to get me to use the smoke bomb. Use the smoke bomb to, like, sneak around and place a pitfall trap and then, like, lure in the monster. I'm not going to do any of that. I also didn't bring enough paintballs. Uh, so I only have the two the quest gave me. Uh, let's see, Young Cuckoo isn't here, so I'm going to check area right, two. Um, he is right, though, the chief, that visibility will be poor because of all the foliage. So it'll be very easy for the Young Cuckoo to sneak around and get me. I guess the implication is that I can sneak around, too. But this is a monster that I have not fought before. I don't really know what to expect. Um, I've only ever seen it in Monster Hunter Stories, which is like a Pokemon-style game. Oh, what's this? Uh, there are Aptonoth around. Where's the... So I'm just going to go... I can hear the... Oh, this is scary. I can hear it stomping around, but I can't see it. Did it see me? It did. Oh, it's flying. Wow, okay. I thought it would be on the ground. And now it is. Oh, new music for the jungle. Let's see if I can hear it. Nope. It's just kind of dive bombing me. And I wasted a paintball already. How am I supposed to hit it? Oh, okay. That's a familiar move. And so is that. I've seen these on other wyverns. Okay, there's its fire. Oh, okay, let's block. Oh crap, it almost got me. Okay. Time for the medicine. Oh, it's doing a pecking move. It's like the cool Pecko. 
Ah, oh, got me. Got me with its tail. Okay. Let's run. Oh, that was the time to sheath because it wasn't attacking. Expecting me to have this uh, this strong of a landscape, maybe. Oh, okay, that's bad. That's really bad. Run. And then run some more. We need to get it to do an attack so that I can take a, a bite. Oh crap. It stepped and interrupted my movement. Monsters can step, and that'll do, like, just enough damage to, like, stop you from doing whatever you were doing. It's really bad. Okay, and it, like, spits up fire. Is it running away? Oh, okay. Wow, that was terrifying. This is gonna be a really hard fight. Where's it going? Oh, is it just preparing for an attack or is it leaving the area? I don't know. I think it's doing an attack. Oh no, it got the moss swine angry. Everything's going wrong. Oh, it ran away. Okay. I don't know where it went, though, because I missed with my paintball. I am going to throw a paintball the next time we encounter it, though. And I'm going to eat an herb, because it's just enough health to bring me almost to full. Alright. I wish I'd found some god bugs. Okay. Let's hit him with the paintball this time. Oh my gosh, I missed? Gotta be joking. Oh no, I got it. It's appearing on the map. It just didn't make a sound. That's weird. Okay. Uh oh, the Melanx is coming. The Moss one got me. Oops. Okay. This is not good. still got me. This is appropriately intense music. Uh. Oh, dang it. I couldn't see with the tree. Oh, the tree was in my way. So I didn't see it firing the ball of fire. Disgraceful. But I'm not done yet. Let's, uh, I'm gonna sharpen up just ahead of time. Okay, it's moving. I'm glad that um, I hit it. Got all these flash bombs, so let's use them. I'm gonna come get you. Um, it is possible that a flash bomb while it's in midair will make it crash to the ground? I don't know. Man, it sucks that the, uh, Velocipray didn't get stunned all the whole time. 
because that would really uh, help. Okay, now that it's down, we can actually do one of the... Oh man, I missed my opportunity. One of the cool, one of the useful tactics with the green sharpness lance is that you can... Um, if a monster is downed, it has such a big hitbox like that, that you can hit it and you can just keep poking into it. Okay. That's right. Hit the Velocipray for me. They're weak to fire, I think. Uh, but so am I, so I don't want to get hit by Okay, and here we go. That's uh, a new move. One that I didn't expect. Okay. Okay, let's get him. Let's get him. Yes! Oh my gosh! The charge! Charge for the win! Oh, if I hadn't died, I, I was doing so much damage. If I hadn't died, I probably would have killed it without losing any lives. That's incredible. Oh my god. Oh. I'm sweating. I'm sweating like bullets. Please, goddamn Velocipray. Get out of here. This, uh... Monster Hunter never changes, but I got all the carbs. Through you, Velocipray. I'm gonna have my revenge on you now. I'm not even gonna carve up your your materials. That's how angry I am at you, Velocipray. Oh, did it. Yes. Hey, according to the chief, we're officially a hunter now. Oh, my laptop is dying. Hang on. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Oh, look at that kill screen. You can't even see me. Because I think I was charging through, and I must have hit one of the cuckoo's legs. I'm gonna have to look up what Screamers are used for, because they're not in the combo list anywhere. Maybe they're used to make a bowgun or something. Because if I can just sell them, then I should. Yes, save. For fear that something will go horribly wrong. Now what does the... What does the Elder have to say to us now? You're starting with the part, but you've gone a long way. Oh, that's the same that he always says. Okay, wait. Slightly on Cuckoo isn't completed? Um, is this a bug? I just did this quest. Uh, hmm. I'm not crazy, I just got Yonkuku parts, which you can only get by slaying Yonkuku, and there's no other quest to do that. Slay a Yonkuku. Um, well, I'm, uh, I'm confused and baffled and confused and baffled. Um, but we've got plenty of time left, so what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to do that egg delivery quest. It's everybody's favorite hunting quest. Delivering eggs through dangerous territory. Um, I'm bringing the power juice because that'll let me run forever. The stakes are just a backup, really. And then whetstones are for fighting off. I'm probably not going to need the whetstones, actually, but um, I'm going to clear out any monsters that are in my path. Oh, I see. Maybe, maybe the game was jittering earlier. Maybe it's because there's a... I've got a graphics update waiting. Anyway, uh, you know what? I'll bring some potions, too. Just because. Um, I'm pretty sure this wy wyvern egg quest is in the jungle, uh, the forest again. So, I know the way, I just don't know what monsters are going to be there. Boy, that... I hope this isn't a problem. Um... I, I do want to slay... I will have to slay the Ankuku again if I want to make its armor, which is... Uh, oh, does it... I thought it had um, the Ankuku armor. Oh, it does. So, something I forgot about in this game is that there some armor sets don't have every piece. There's just, like, male, uh, male legs and belt or something. So there's no cuckoo helmet, but there is mail and some other parts, uh, which it doesn't actually have any fire res for some reason, but it does have a lot of defense, as you can see. And I think it has some ability, but I don't remember what. Uh, all right, so we're going to do another free, another new quest. Deliver two wyvern eggs. It's only 30 minutes, which is a little worrisome, but it does mean that... Um, Worst come to worst, uh, it won't overrun the stream for very long. We won't go over time. Uh, yeah. But let's see what we get. Usual stuff. At this point, I don't think I need a map. But the map will indicate if any routes are blocked off for some reason. So it's good to get them. And then paintballs are always good to have. Okay. The way to Area 6 isn't blocked this time, but we can't go... We can't bring the eggs back from Area 5 through Area 6 because the drop is too big. Um, on the way down, we'll just break the egg. So I have to go after the music. I don't know if the music is loud enough to cover my voice, but I'll let it play anyway. We have to go from Area 5 to 4 then 3, 2, 1. We have to just go in descending order. Descending numeric order. Yeah, this looks the same as the other quests. They're just a bunch of velocity play around. And uh, some best points. Oh boy. Um, what's going on? Come on. Come on, Alliance Beth. You're better than us. Yeah, but before we were, it was taking, uh, if you remember before, it took about three or four hits to kill a Velociprey with my old lance. And now it only takes two. So that's a substantial improvement. Oh, I, it took too long. It already respawned another one, though, so I don't know if this is going to be fruitless. Um... Uh, while I was farming, I did do the Velocidrome quest just to see how difficult it was with my my improved knowledge. And um, the Velocipray were just constantly respawning in that mission, in that quest. So I think they might be in this one too. There might be like a minimum number of Velocipray at all times or something. Oops. I, I backwards dodged the wrong way and right into another Velocity Oh, they know how to side hop too. Are they just learning from me? Um, it's pro yeah, that one is a new one, isn't it? It just like it just spawned. 
I know the best points spawn, but they aren't too hard to avoid if I'm carrying an egg. I guess if I've got the dash juice, I shouldn't have to worry about these. Um, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna try... I'm just gonna go to the wyvern egg. I'm gonna use the dash juice. I'm gonna run back. There's the Rathalos. And uh, I'm gonna run back and I'm just gonna make... Um, I'm gonna make a run for it. I'm gonna go... Full sprint, the whole way home. No stopping. Because that's what da Dash Juice will do for you. Power Juice, I should say. I don't know why they change the names of these items. There are a bunch of items that have different names, but are identical to ones in the later games, and it's just confusing. So, yes, there are more... These Velocity Prey, I think, will stay dead, so maybe I'll just kill them. Oh, come on now. Oh, he, he dodged me. Oh, and I dodged right into it. I think, the, um, I think the respawn rule for this area is that the Velocipray return after you leave, leave and come back. Oh, but it does sound like there might be another one already. Or maybe not. Okay. So, here's the test. Can I use the power of the power juice to return with the egg? safely. The trick is, you have to walk off of ledges with the egg. Because if you jump, you'll break it. And if you fall off too high of a ledge, you'll also break it. So we're very limited in what we can do. That's the real reason, the primary reason we can't go through Area 6 is because the egg will just break on the way down. Even doing these short jumps is very risky. Okay. There aren't any best points here, but I'm going to run because it saves time. And power juice basically just changes your stamina limit into a time limit on how far you, how fast you can run. We can effectively just sprint until the uh, power-up time runs out. Anyway, you just gotta be careful about all of these velocity prey. Gotta duck and dodge. We can dodge and weave. I think sprinting makes a huge difference because I think, yeah, I think we can outrun them more or less if we're smart about it. And their jumping doesn't actually. Velocipray will leap when you're, like, a, a certain minimum distance away, and I think if you're sprinting away, they generally won't be able to hit you. What was that? I sent out, like, a ping. Oh my gosh, she almost hit me. They left over me. We hit each other. Oh. Oh my gosh, they're here. How did that happen? They knew that I had an egg and they came. Okay. I guess the Velocity Prayer are in every area now. Okay, that one didn't die, but it got knocked down. There's one over there. If I hug the wall, I should be okay. Just hug the wall. Knowing my luck, I'll get hit at the last second as I'm entering that cave entrance. Alright, oof. I want to be really careful to actually, like, push up against the delivery box. 
pretty hard. Oh man, the reach on these Velocipre is long. Oh, it took- I didn't kill him with- I guess the Lance Charge isn't as strong as normal thrust attacks. Who else wants some? Who are you to interfere with my quest? Good thing is that it's been less than 10 minutes into the quest, so... I think we're doing pretty well. Um, I don't know if it's a waste of time to kill these Velocipray, because it seems like once I grab the egg they just spawn. But I don't know. I'm gonna hope that there is a limited number. And I'm not even gonna bother to pick up their items because that just takes more time. But I am going to try and clear them this time. Uh, one thing that I have seen in clips of people playing this game is that they'll use dung pots to get rid of some of... They'll use dung bombs, I should say, to get rid of some of the small monsters like these in, in quests. Usually in hunting quests, just so that they don't get swarmed. Maybe I'll gather this philosopher. Um, yeah, so I thought I thought the 30 minute timer would be harsh, but this I have a lot of time. Uh, my only thought is that my only concern, I should say, is that there might be a curveball somewhere. The power dues did last only long enough for me to get back to the main camp. So maybe that's the curveball, is that if I get slowed down by uh, Velocipray too much and having to duck, uh, duck and dive around him, having to serpentine, then uh, the dash juice might run out. But again, it's the dash juice, it's infinite sprinting until the buff runs out, so I may as well, there's no reason not to use it. Uh, more likely the Rathalos is meant to be the curveball in this, uh, in this quest, because, you know, I think even with this upgraded land, half an hour is not long enough to deal enough damage to kill it. So we could try to kill him. And I say him because Rathalos is um, one of the very few gendered monsters in this series. But I haven't fought him in this game, and I don't know if Rathalos... I don't know how much damage Rathalos will take for you guys. So I'm not going to test it out, because this is the first time I'm doing this quest. And I want it to be the last. The only reason to do this quest maybe a second time is for the Zenny. Maybe. But even then... You're, uh... It's much safer... It's much safer to do those mushroom gathering quests. Uh, hmm. Uh, this is why I'm glad the mission gives me, plus gives me whetstones. I probably won't need them, but for safety, I'm going to sharpen up, because these are free whetstones. 
If I don't keep them after the quest, I may as well use them. I am also going to use a steak, just in case I run out of power juice. And we're going to... We're going to drink our Powerade and start running. Alright. Um, later games introduce Herbivore X so that monsters like Aptonoth that are usually docile will attack you while you're trying to steal their eggs. It's a different sort of experience to this. Although, if a Rathalos were in the area while you were stealing a herbivore egg, it would certainly go after you anyway. I gotta say, I am surprised, pleasantly surprised, that the Rathalos has not interfered with this at all. It did turn up in Area 3 when I first got there, and it's just wandered off. I don't know where it is. It's not a good thing that I don't know where it is, of course, but it's not here. And the Velociprey did not respawn. So I might just have a clear shot home. This is it. I, I may have already completed the Wyvern egg quest. Look at that. Nothing but the sound of the wind in the mountains and the grass rustling against my armor. We're almost home free, everybody. I was pretty sure that hostile monsters could not appear in Area 1, but I, the Velocipre did. Uh, it's the first time I've seen them there. Luckily, not none of them are here now, and there's no Rathalos. I wonder where it's gone. I do still have some power juice, so as, as soon as I drop off this egg, I am going to try and run to see if I can find the Rathalos and just kind of mess with him. My guess is that he's in Area 10, or maybe Area 9. But, um... Oh yeah, that was something I discovered. Area 9 is... It's the, it's the most dangerous area in this map, but it is useful for gathering the special mushrooms. Because uh, the spot on the map where you gather them is relatively safe. Um, particularly, particularly in that mission, it's safe. Okay, Velociprey are in here. Uh, I'm not going to get there in time. Dang it. I wanted to get to Area 10, but there's no shortcut. And the music, uh, the music cued me to the fact that the quest would end. Oh well, we don't get to see Rathalos up close, but okay. That's the reason to do this quest again. Because I just was given four new trinkets. Uh, and a bunch of other stuff. I wasn't actually paying attention to what the other stuff was. But nutrients are... I don't want to say they're the most valuable consumable in this game, but they're very powerful. Wow, one power seed, three armor seeds. Those are very useful. Nutrients. Oh, and the mega nutrients. But yes. Uh, nutrients increase your health. Mega nutrients increase it more. They're, they're like, um, they're like rations or well done steak, but for your health. And you can make them yourself, but they require some pretty rare items that I have only found, I think I've found, no, I haven't even found one. It requires a god bug, which is a very rare insect that I haven't found yet. But presumably it's in this game because I looked up the uh, I looked up the combo list on Game Facts and the combo list says it's in there. Uh, I'm just looking to see if I can sell anything. Oh, we don't need needle berry or bomb berry. Those those kind of berries are oh I'm I'm not selling them. I'm taking them out of the box. Um, Needle berries and bomb berries are used for specific types of 
um, bow gun ammo. And we're not really using the bow gun except for poison eventually. Uh, everything else I think I can use. Um, so unfortunately, my item box is filling up a lot, so I'm probably going to have to sell some stuff uh, fairly soon in order to make space. It's one of the other problems with this old game, because there is limited space in your item box in later games, but it's much more... The limit is much higher. This limit is, like, punishingly small. For all I know, the uh, there's, like, an online item box that's bigger. And if we could play online, we would have more space. So what quest is left? Is this a different one than the one I did? That is also the Yonkuku quest. <laughs> this is the only one left, so I have to... I'll have to slay the Yonkuku again. But I would like to... Um, the stream is coming to an end, so I would like to plan out what the next quest is going to be, what the next goal is. Blossom Prey Mail is about as good as getting a bone mail. Battle Mail is 7. Google Mail is 10. I don't have the materials to make any of that. So to fight the Kuku, I'm trying to think what the best. Battle Mail is pretty good. I got hit by the fire a few times. But... Boy. I think the Battle Mail is the next thing to make. It makes the most sense. Um... Uh, yeah, because the Battle Armor... Battle Helm is the highest defense I can make, except for the Vest Boy. Because I need Genprey, and the only Genprey Hider in that I seen quest, which I don't want to do again. Hmm. So yeah, I think the Battle Helm. We're gonna make that. I think I'm just gonna make the Battle Armor set, because I... Th I'm pretty sure that set actually has an armor bonus. Some armor skill. I don't know what it is, but um, it might give us the edge we need. Oh, uh, I also wanted to look at weapons. So, the Knight Spear, uh, I could upgrade it to the Paladin Lance, but the Sharpness is bad. And Sharpness on a Lance is really important. Even though the damage is higher, the Sharpness, sharpness is crucial. So, what I want to do is, I'm going to, I'm probably going to try and upgrade the lance some more. Because I did find some Macalite. It was not out of reach. So, I'm going to do some grinding in between this and next Monday's stream. Well, I'm going to do some, some more farming in between this and the next stream. Probably the next stream will be on a Thursday. Because um, I'm taking a little trip. Uh, starting this Wednesday, I'll be gone for about a week, and then I'll be back on Thursday the 29th for another stream. Uh, it'll probably be Monster Hunter just because uh, it'll be a good time to farm, so I guess I'll do a farming stream, Monster Hunter farming stream, uh, next Sunday. Uh, next Thursday, I should say. Next week, Thursday. Um, I was hoping to try and stream while I was away, but my laptop isn't good enough for streaming. I tested it out, and it's no good. So, taking a break from the next two streams that I would normally do, and then I'll be back on Thursday. So, thank you all for joining me. Uh, we made a lot of progress. That was uh, really satisfying to complete. Uh, we completed three totally new quests and slayed a new monster. Or slain? No, we slayed the monster. And I'm just going to save again for safety. Um, so thank you all for coming, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>